Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about constants of nature. Why considering constants of nature at all? Because they are the royal road to understanding fundamental physics. Today I will talk about the gravitational constant, which is almost, I would say, the most important constant at all. And there are lots of videos I have made because there are so many aspects. Check them out in the links below. This is a very short overview. And there are basically two things I want to emphasize. The first thing is it's really important. Uh, it's a significant message of nature. I don't really understand why some people say, oh, this is a, a dimension for quantity. We can gauge it away or relate it to the Planck length or whatever nonsense. No, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 is something you have to ponder, you have to think about, and you have eventually to explain, okay? So, uh, how to explain? As I said, this is a, a vast issue. You think, of course, about Marx's principle. Erwin Schrödinger in 1925 made uh, first the link to the masses in the universe, the speed of light and the distances in the universe. The overall idea is Marx's principle. Gravity is somehow related to the distribution of masses in the universe. As I said, check this out in other videos. There's also a link to Dirac's large number hypothesis in 1938. And basically he um, suspected that there would be a slight uh, cosmological change in the value of the gravitational constant. The second aspect is G has a very interesting history of measurements. Newton, it's called Big G or Newton's Big G, Newton was convinced that you would never be able to measure this constant because uh, it's, it's so tiny, the, the force between two masses, uh, and of course usually one mass is the Earth, and he thought it would be impossible. And Indeed, it took almost, uh, it took more than a hundred years until Cavendish in uh, 1798 was able to measure that, based actually on an idea by John Mitchell. And the funny thing is this uh, experimental setup is still valid. When I was, uh, I participated in a conference in 2002 about the measurements of the gravitational constant. This uh, torsion balance setup is still the up-to-date, the most cutting at edge um, measurement of the gravitational constants, although of course there is an electronic uh, version of it. And yeah, why uh, is this interesting? Because the measurements of the gravitational constant are still discrepant. Uh, there was almost a consensus for a long time uh, when Luther and Tower, I think in 1982, published a paper saying that it was 6.6726 something, though we were already in the range of parts per million as accuracy. And then something interesting happened. Um, researchers by, uh, from the Physikalisch Technische Bundesanstalt in Germany published a paper saying no, it's 6.71 something, which is far off any error bar. And uh, something was wrong with that measurement, but it triggered a very interesting development because everyone was uh, looking after the gravitational constants and thinking about new experiments. And indeed, there are lots of interesting ideas. Some guy who puts a superconducting gravimeter below a lake in the Italian Alps and something other people who try to measure uh, the gravitational constant also with gravimeters uh, in the Greenland ice cap or below the ocean. And there are also measurements uh, with uh, huge masses of, I don't know, lead. And uh, historically, there is an interesting example of someone who, who measured with lead. And uh, modern experiments with um, atomic beams are trying to measure the gravitational constant. And yeah, uh, there is still considerable uh, discrepancy in, in, the, in the recent measurements, something we should closely follow. And of course, there is still the question, is there, is there a change? Is there even a temporal change, uh, like the idea of, of Dirac and uh, one uh, paper I did uh, a solar system test is uh, can you 
uh, determine such a change of the gravitational constant as an annual signal um, due to the distance of the Sun. Well, it's I think an interesting field. You should uh, still uh, closely watch this and as I said for sure the gravitational constant is something very important that tells us something about fundamental physics. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel.